Eritrea has proven that with its existing infrastructure, gold production has uh, moved well. This is the question many mining companies are asking, uh, mining journals are asking, why is the first Eritrean mine, the Bisha mine, the most successful from a profit point of view in the world? So uh, uh, for, for, for us, those are the type of questions we have to ask as to what can we learn from the Eritrean experience. Uh, the idea was to say that for relations to be better, it has to be genuinely bilateral. Uh, genuinely meaning it cannot be a one-way road. Bilateral is precisely that. It has to be a two-way road. Eritrea, South Africa, and hence the, the, the coining of the term uh, ERISA. So in some ways it was a review of South Africa, um, uh, Eritrea relations, how to take it to another level. How Eritrea to... has been one of the vanguard leaders in saying to, to fellow Africans, uh, fellow African countries, that we only can have a strong Africa if we have a strong continental body, the African Union. But for us to have a strong African Union, we need a strong African Union Secretariat. Um, so South Africa and Eritrea cooperated very, very strongly on this project. I know uh, many Southern African countries are very proud of Eritrea. Uh, that pride could, uh, could be seen when the uh, South African uh, current Minister of Home Affairs was here, uh, the Foreign Minister of Zimbabwe was here, the uh, Zambian Foreign Minister was here to interact with the President of Eritrea on this project. Um, it's clear to me in my four years, one of my observations is that the leadership in uh, Eritrea are keen on Pan-African goals. Eritrea is a strong member of COMESA, um, the trading bloc, uh, which uh, is, is, covers a huge part of the Horn of Africa, uh, Northeast Africa, uh, East Africa, and COMESA is um, going to develop a free trade zone with SADC, the Southern African Development Corporation, as well as the East African community. And I know your ministers have been uh, active in these formations. So, so for me, um, the uh, active role of uh, Eritrea within COMESA and uh, second would be the Indian uh, Ocean Rim Association and importantly, I think with conditions of peace and stability prevail in the Horn of Africa, there's no doubt in my mind, Eritrea will play a stronger role uh, within the Horn of Africa region as it is currently playing in trying to bring about peace and stability um, in Yemen, just across the uh, Red Sea of Eritrean diaspora. Uh, we believe we can learn a lot from them. So for us, um, that has been one of the key lessons we've learned that, um, I, and we believe a lot of uh, uh, Africans, uh, fellow Africans, can learn from the Eritrean diaspora. Bologna uh, Eritrea Festival on its uh, 40th anniversary for me was a very uh, memorable occasion. Memorable in the sense that uh, I got to see and some of the um, friends of Eritrea who were present, the strength, the energy, the vibrancy of the Eritrean diaspora. I really don't think uh, many of our fellow African states, even the friends of Eritrea, fully understand the vibrancy of the Eritrean diaspora. So by attending the Bologna Festival, I uh, was able to develop a report for my ministry, share it with my uh, colleagues in our ministry, the vibrancy of the Eritrean diaspora. I think I can safely say of all the African diasporas in Europe, USA, outside of uh, the continent of Africa, uh, I can safely say the Eritrean diaspora is perhaps the uh, strongest organized and 
possibly the most vibrant. I'm busy writing a book on the uh, experiences I've had uh, of my time in uh, Eritrea. And in this regard, the, there will be a chapter on the question of what are the lessons we could learn and many fellow African leaders can learn from the Eritrean diaspora. So for me, that is going to be uh, a key dimension of the book. Regularly, I would read reports and many reports negatively predicted that there would be state collapse and societal collapse. And uh, I found there was a mismatch between what the reports were predicting, most of them analytical reports, um, human rights reports, scholarly reports uh, were predicting this. But on the ground here, I saw another reality unfolding. I saw another narrative unfolding. And that led me to ask myself that I should develop an analysis, a book, with a draft tentative title, uh, Eritrea, why has the state not collapsed? To ask the question in that book, what are the factors that has allowed Eritrea to cohere, to manage, to uh, come together, which has allowed society to cohere by and large? How have Eritreans managed to deal with the rough challenges of society. I plan to undertake a range of interviews to test whether my hypothesis, whether this underlying question I'm asking as to why the Eritrean state has not collapsed is a correct question to ask. Uh, yes, it's a very provocative question, but it's being asked with a, a constructive angle as to why um, Eritrea has succeeded and that what the naysayers, what the critics, what um, the, in, in some ways, I think people who don't wish well for Eritrea, what they've tried to not wish well for Eritrea, why has it not worked? And uh, that's what I'm trying to uh, ask in this book. The You're moment right. I arrived here uh, on March uh, 13th, on my birthday, um, within a short period of two weeks, uh, I was accredited, I had my discussions, uh, with uh, the, His uh, Excellency, uh, the President of the State of Eritrea, President uh, Isaias of Warki. And it was clear to me what were the priorities. And uh, I conveyed that to my president. And we were able to move on all those priorities very quickly. As we say in uh, South Africa, you can't clap with one hand. Fortunately, we had a good partner so we could clap together. My last thought is that Eritrea has a, uh, a good narrative to uh, share. Uh, and I believe that narrative should be shared more widely. We know like all countries, all young countries, whether it's South Africa or Eritrea, we would face development challenges. But we know those challenges, whether it's infrastructural challenges, um, all other challenges are not insurmountable. But jointly and together, we believe we can uh, uh, contribute towards strengthening relations and towards uh, uh, a better Eritrea and better joint relations.